Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti again, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. One of my favorite special effects in Premiere Elements is the chroma key. I love it because it works so well. There are also a number of ways to do chroma key in Premiere Elements. Now, if you're on a Mac, these options are going to be a little bit different, but you can do it on a Mac just as well as on a PC. Uh, to grade our chroma key effect, we need two things. One, we need our chroma key shot. I'm going to drag this down. I add it to video one. I also want to expand the timeline a little bit here so I can see video track two because I actually want this clip up on video track two. I also need a background, a new background to swap into my chroma key. And I've just got kind of a little forest background. I'm going to drag it out so it's the same length as my chroma key shot. And then I'm just going to press the backslash key, which is above the enter return key on your keyboard, just to expand those two clips out so that they stretch across the timeline. And now I can widen my timeline a little bit and I can see what I'm doing. You will get the best chroma key effect if you've got the best chroma key shot. We have a nice evenly lit shot. Look at that green background. There's not a shadow. There's not a hot spot or a highlight on it. It is smoothly lit. Also, the actor in the foreground is also smoothly lit. The way chroma key works is simply taking one color or one range of colors and making it transparent. In other words, right now this man is standing in front of a green screen. We're going to make it transparent and we will see what's on video track one, which is that scenery shot that I added. Now, if you're using chroma key to create this effect, you simply go over to the effects button here on the right, go down to the keying effects and select chroma key. Now, chroma key actually comes in a couple of different flavors. We'll try each one of these until we find the best one. I do have to tell you that on a Mac here, these options for chroma key, green screen key, blue screen key are not available, but there is a way to create this effect anyway. I'll get to that in just a moment. To create our chroma key effect, we simply drag the chroma key effect here from the effects panel right onto the green screen clip. So we're looking at the clip that's on video track two. And when I let it go, uh, you notice <laughs> the man's shirt becomes transparent. All we got to do now is define the key color or the color we want to make transparent. And we do that by simply coming over here to the eyedropper, the sampler, select it, and then come over here with the eyedropper and select the background. Now that is a pretty darn good chroma key. You can clean up this chroma key effect. I always like to select a mask only. That gives me a clearer view of what is actually transparent and what isn't. And by kind of shifting around similarity and blend, mostly similarity, you can get a pretty good uh, screen there. Uncheck the mask only. And now we've got some green fringe around the outside of the actor, but we could again, make some adjustments here to similarity, blend, threshold, all of these until we got a nice clean chroma key shot. Now that's with chroma key. Since our background is green, let's try the green screen key. Now this is preset to work with a green background. We'll drag that over onto the clip here on video track two. And you notice just at its default setting, it does a pretty good job of removing our background. Let's mask it so we can see what's actually being removed. A little bit of adjustment here can make that even better. And we turn off the mask. And that's pretty good. We got a little bit of a halo around the actor. Not bad. We can kind of make some adjustments here to the cutoff. And that's pretty good. We've got our actor in front of a background. He actually looks like he's standing there in the woods. Now, as I say, on a Mac, you don't have the key options. However, you do have a tool that's available to on both the Windows and the Mac versions of Premiere Elements and it's very effective on both of those. You can find video merge in a number of places. In fact, when I added this clip to the timeline, the program first asked me, do you want to apply video merge to it? It recognized that it had a smooth background. Another place you can find video merge is, of course, right on the effects panel. Just go down to the video merge category. There it is. And you can apply it simply by right clicking on the clip, going to clip, apply video merge. It's all the same effect. It all gets to the same place. When I apply video merge, look at that right out of the box, a perfect key effect. In fact, video merge may be the preferred way to work with chroma key in Premiere Elements. It's entirely up to you. I love how easy video merge is. You remember when we worked with chroma key, 
We had a number of adjustments you could make. With Video Merge, it's simply tolerance. That's really all you have to adjust. You can uh, use a custom color here uh, with the sampler. Often it's not necessary. The program will detect that smooth colored background and remove it automatically. But look at that. That is a beautiful chroma key effect at the default setting for Video Merge. And if you want to know all about the terrific tools, special effects tools, uh, effects, transitions, titling tools, and all the tools in Premiere Elements, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, step by step, how to use tools like Chroma Key and Video Merge, be sure to check out our books, the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements together. They're available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.